Hello everyone, this is Wormlight Tarot. Welcome to today's video, which is a show and tell of my tarot card and oracle card collection. This video is a request, but it's also something that I've been wanting to film for a while or refilm to be exact because I actually have a video like this that I filmed about a year ago or a year and a half ago, something like that but the lighting was a bit too dark in that video so you couldn't see the darker cards that well so ever since I've been wanting to try this again so, I will be showing you all of my cards, or sorry, all of my decks, um, the older ones as well as uh, the newest ones, uh, these two to be exact. So, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit and then we can get started. So, this deck here is my newest one. I got it as a birthday present from my girlfriend. I had my birthday this month uh, on 4th of March. So, this is the Urban Crow Oracle Card Deck. with a booklet like this it has lots of lovely stories of crows I feel like you could read this even as like bedtime stories or something like that Here are the cards. They're not in order and I won't be showing these to you in detail but, you know, if you want me to do a video of a specific deck of cards, just let me know and I will be happy to fulfill that request but for now, so that the video doesn't um, get too long, I will just show you the cards quite briefly, okay? this one as well.
And this deck, the Oracle of the Roses, I got for myself very recently, um, during March as well. There's always a description for the meaning of the card. As well as the ethnobotanical, ethnobotanical archetype exploration and botanical notes as well as plant energies. Here are the cards. Again, I will show these cards to you quite briefly. My third newest deck is this one, but to be honest, this doesn't actually belong to me and it's not very new, as you can probably tell. But this deck belongs to my girlfriend and I've been using it recently, as you've probably noticed if you've watched my videos lately, especially if you've picked like certain readings where I've been using these cards. But yeah, this is the um, Alistair Crowley Thought Tarot cards. And these cards are in Finnish, but I've also seen these in English. So I feel like the way these cards look, you you should be able to find them in English as well and maybe in other languages too. Um, these cards are quite abstract and I really like that about them. And um, my girlfriend, she also reads tarot cards, but we have like different ways of reading them, as all tarot readers do. And she reads reversals as well, which is something that I don't do. There are like different kinds of schools and ideas, of course, within the tarot community. I just 
personally find that there are negative cards already like in the regular um, cards like the um, the upside card so um, I've never felt drawn to reading reversals but I do understand why people would do that and I also like you know I feel like it doesn't really affect the reading like if you feel called to a reading and it resonates with you there's like like it doesn't really matter whether you read reversals or not this is beautiful as is this one the death card it's so cool colors in this one and the mood so this is the eight of cups and what I forgot to say about these cards that belong to my girlfriend is that she actually received these cards as a gift from someone which is something that like when you start reading cards you're supposed to receive the first deck as a gift from someone but I guess that it doesn't really happen like that with a lot of people and it didn't really um, happen with me either I bought my first deck but I don't know maybe it's just a superstition I mean I know so many good tarot readers you know who haven't received their first deck as a gift so I don't know I don't think it matters so much but I think it's a really cool story anyways and, and I wish that I would have received my first deck as a gift as well just wanted to share and from now on I will be introducing decks in order of getting them so this one here is my first tarot deck and I got it for myself um, back then uh, this was in 2017 I was quite interested in tarot cards and in learning to read them but at, at the same time I was quite skeptical so I also wanted to get these tarot cards for the artwork so like it says here this is an inspirational tarot deck by 78 artists so each of these cards here has been designed by a different artist so like a way for me to get into reading tarot was to kind of like appreciate the art before like appreciating the art of reading tarot cards if that makes sense so these cards are a bit damaged as you may be able to tell for maybe a year these were my only tarot cards so these were um, 
being used by me maybe not daily but weekly at least and sometimes daily so as you can tell the artwork is pretty varied I think you know some people might like that and other people prefer like consistency in the artwork I definitely wouldn't recommend a deck like this as your first deck because you know their cards they form a story so when you are trying to learn to read the cards it, it might be a bit of a challenge to have cards that don't really follow the story like some of these are very faithful to the um, original story of the tarot cards but some are a bit more abstract so yeah it was a bit of a challenge like an extra challenge because of course reading tarot cards can be a bit bit of a challenge in and of itself These three are one of my favorite cards in this deck and maybe ever. <laughs> So I got some extra light in here before it gets too dark again, so I don't mess up another video. But so to continue, after that I got this deck, the original Rider White Terror deck. So as I said, it was quite a challenge to learn to read the learn to read tarot from a deck with more um, abstract art or art that doesn't really follow the story of tarot so of course the next deck for me had to be this one which is like the original images of the tarot cards not sure if these are like 100% original, of course, but you know, this is it basically. These are like one of the first ones, or maybe one of the most well known cards out there. So, if you see tarot cards on TV or if you just hear about tarot, I think these cards are the ones that pop into people's minds. And like I said, it's so much easier to learn the cards when you know the story. I've also been requested to film a video on learning to read the tarot cards 
and I will definitely film a video like that for you if you're interested in it. Um, and these are definitely the cards that I will bring with me to that video because it's just so much easier to explain the whole thing um, except I guess I won't be explaining the story of of the fool going on on a journey and learning about himself and meeting different kinds of people on his journey but you know I, I think it has to be mentioned whenever you're teaching tarot cards to other people This was my third, third deck. Um, I am interested in like space and astronomy and I guess quantum mechanics to an extent. So that is the reason why I wanted to get these cards for myself. But, um, to be honest, these are not my favorite cards. They're nice, but not my favorite. And what is interesting about this deck is that it comes with two extra cards one of them being this one this is the Phoenix Okay, and here's the second extra card, and this is, um, I suddenly forgot its name, but I think it's Infinity. <laughs> Let me check the booklet. No, it was not called the Infinity. It has the infinity symbol, but it's called the universe. And um, one good thing that I have to say about this deck of cards is that the um, booklet has some like excellent questions that it asks you, and some really great explanations for the cards because they go into like science and quantum mechanics and stuff. And this one here is a terror deck based on Finnish or Finno Arcric mythology. So it's your 
regular tarot deck, but each of the cards has a mythological description as well. And you can also get this deck in English. I got it in Finnish, but I sort of wish that I would have gotten it in English. I feel a bit conflicted about this deck because some of the artwork is just absolutely beautiful. Like for example this one and the one here. But then the others are not that pretty. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit vain. yeah it's a beautiful deck but a bit of a challenge if you want to learn the mythological stories behind each card this one here is my favorite deck and i feel like it's quite popular among other tarot readers as well because i've been using so many people using this deck. And what's interesting about this deck is that it comes with four different cards for the lovers. So here are three, and I have the fourth one mixed with the other cards. Um, so I guess this is very like uh, LG, LGBT, um, QIA plus inclusive because so you have these different kinds of couples here
Here's the lover's card that I'm using right now. like I have such a great relationship with this deck because often when I do readings for myself I feel called to use this deck and the readings are pretty accurate and now we'll get to the Oracle card decks this one was my first one the Chakra Wisdom Oracle card deck it took me a long time to feel connected with this one, but um, nowadays I do like it. Be honest the artwork is not my favorite but the um like the descriptions for the cards are quite accurate and interesting This is my latest tarot deck, but I've had it for over a year at this point. I haven't felt called to get myself a new tarot deck yet, except for this one that will be pu published in August this year. This year. So. To wait a few more months to get it. So you can use these cards as your regular tarot cards, but they also come with like a herbal meaning as well, which is really cool and I've been trying to learn them, but I am so far from being perfect in that, but you know, maybe after a few months to a year.
and here's the Super Oracle deck. I think it's super stylish and elegant. So the cards are black and white. Um, which is very uh, one simple one word uh, titles. And then you can also buy this book if you wish. I mean, you have to buy it separately. Um, it doesn't come with the deck, but it has longer explanations for each of the cards. It's an interesting book, but um, I guess the descriptions can be a bit pretentious sometimes. But yeah, anyway, here are the cards. What is it about each of them having like a one word um, description or an explanation or a title? Not all of them have that, like some of them are like geometric shapes and like um, things like that. And here we have the Serpent Fire Sigil Oracle Cards. Also comes with a guidebook. And here are the cards. I sort of like them, but in a way they might be a bit too simplistic for me. I don't know. I feel a bit conflicted.
and lastly we have the yogic path or kodak it is quite big with this good sized guidebook so let me show it to you So yeah, lots of information and um, beautifully illustrated. Then let's look at the cards. So they come in this box of their own. was the show and tell of my tarot and oracle card deck collection. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below and I will get back to you. If you have any requests, let me know and I will do my best to fulfill your request. Um, my next video will probably be a new reading, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for your comments and your likes and subscriptions. I really appreciate it. Till next time, bye bye.